Professor Minhas Lai, PhD scholar in plant physiology, Lai. The practical which I am going to perform today is about the purification of fungi, specifically Aspergillus niger. The media which I am going to use for the purification or growth of the Aspergillus niger is PDA media. There are a lot of different media which you can use such as STS media and MS media. So PDA media means potato dextrose agar. PDA media is commonly used uh, culture media for the growth of different uh, fungi such as molds and yeast etc. If I talk about the constituent of the PDA media, it contains a uh, dextrose sugar which is act as a source of carbohydrates for the fungi. It contains potato and fusion which provide a luxurious environment for the growth of the fungi. The agar which is used in this media is used as an solidifying agent. Agar you all are well familiar it is obtained from the seaweed and it provides a solid surface for the growth of the fungi. In order to prevent the bacterial growth we use different sort of the antibiotics such as canamycin, streptomycin, uh, penicillin etc. So here uh, I will use streptomycin. In other words if you want to use other chemicals you can use tartaric acid if you want to inhibit the bacterial growth. Tartaric acid actually reduces the pH of the media up to 3.5. When you made a PDA media, then you have to uh, sterilize it by using an autoclave where you will provide the temperature of 121 degrees Celsius and sterilization time will be 15 minutes. If you are using the tartaric acid in your media, then you shouldn't have to use autoclave after the addition of tartaric acid in your media. Let's talk about the quantity of the PDA media. If you want to make 1000 ml or in other words 1 liter of the solution of PDA media, then you will use 39 grams of PDA powder. After that you can use half of grams of the antibiotic. And then if you are using a tartaric acid to lower down the pH up to 3.5 in order to inhibit the growth of the bacteria, the amount of the tartaric acid for the 100 ml of solution will be only 1 ml. Using all these uh, constituents, you can now purify or you can now grow your uh, fungi. Either it is molds or it is a yeast. Yeast you know, usually grow from uh, creamy color to the white in color. So I'm going to purify Aspergillus niger, so it, its colonies are usually dark in color.